I was not looking for this. I was not waiting for an opportunity to run for office. I had several people in my community who I respect approach me and ask me to run. As a former student at Lincoln High School, Luana Richmond has firsthand experience with the challenges facing students in her community and the failure of leaders to address them. Sub-District E spans much of Southeast San Diego and contains Crawford, Lincoln, and Morse High Schools. Schools in the Sub-District of San Diego Unified have the highest number of students receiving free or reduced-priced lunch. Richmond is challenging incumbent Sharon Whitehurst Payne, who says she's been a strong voice for her sub-district. Children come to our schools in, in District E's community not with the same set of resources that children in, uh, say, District C, the coastal areas, or District A or some of the other districts, they need to overcome a lot of barriers before you even get started. But some gaps persist. Sub-District E schools also have some of the highest suspension rates in the district, and its high schools have some of the lowest standardized test scores. Some gaps in test scores between schools in District E and others in San Diego Unified have grown in the past several years. Whitehurst Payne says she's brought attention to these gaps during her first term, which resulted in progress, especially for special education students. If you're not case by case sitting down looking at what's happening with the children, we're, we're doing that now. We're going in, we, we have coaching for individual teachers, for individual students. Whitehurst Payne added that she's afraid if she's replaced on the board, it would undo all the progress she's made in her first term. Richmond, meanwhile, says she isn't satisfied with what her opponent calls progress. There is still a very big picture of haves and have-nots. Not, have nots. Um, I feel like there are some areas and schools that are doing really well, and there are some schools that are continuing to do poorly. And I can just point to the data. Richmond says the challenges facing Sub-District E are just an opportunity to reveal the untapped brilliance of its students. She says she's in it for the long term. And I also acknowledge, particularly when we talk about education, it's one of those things where you plant seeds and you water them and you don't get instant results. And so part of it too is actually staying the course to figure out what's working. But the other part of that is listening to the people in your community when they tell you something's not working. But Whitehurst Payne said she's been standing up for her community since her first day on the board. That's why I was challenging the superintendent and my colleagues about that. Because if you know that there's a gap already, how are you not focusing your attention on trying to address that gap specifically? Voters in Sub-District E will choose between the two candidates on March 3rd. Then Whitehurst Payne and Richmond will face off again in an at-large election in November. Joe Hong, KPBS News.